Let me tell the story, I can tell it all About the mountain border and illegal alcohol His daddy made the whiskey, son he drove the moon And his engine for the call the highway thunder pool the face of Southwest Virginia has changed a lot since Robert Mitchum recorded Thunder Road back in the 50s. But the cat and mouse game that is the illegal liquor business remains pretty much the same. In the backwoods, the hills and hollers of Franklin County, you'll still find the moonshiners cooking up their finest and the revenuers hunting them down. Oh, it's illegal. Uh, it's a uh, health hazard. Uh, when they start jugging it, it'll, it'll all, uh, all of it runs about it. Probably 92. No one knows for sure how much moonshine is made up here. Best guess is three quarters of a million gallons. That adds up to a whopping $14 million in lost revenue. Considering how common illegal liquor is here, it's surprising that many people refuse to talk about it. Suspects and their attorneys won't, and neither will the sheriff. Even those long out of the business are afraid to go on camera. Wait, young bone for they all run out. This is Lewis Whitlock. He and his brother Perry were busted and charged with making illegal whiskey even before the first gallon was bottled. But is there money to be made in this business? Off camera, he admitted the bootleg brings in the bucks. He left the road at night. It's been that way for centuries. Moonshine is a part of the fabric of Franklin County. It was made by the Scotch Irish settlers here in the 1700s. But oddly enough, the shine doesn't stay here. You know, the majority of it goes out of state. Philadelphia, uh, D.C., and, and you know, certain people have the markets cornered. And as long as there are those markets, the spirits of Thunder Road will continue to flow in Franklin County. Uh -huh.